Hi, this is Kirk with Forex Strategy Secrets. In this video, we're going to share with you some tips and tricks on how to use the MetaTrader platform. You may know some of them. Uh, in the event that you uh, know it, scroll through it quickly and get to the next one. And be sure and watch the video all the way through because at the end, there's going to be a link to take you to the next group of uh, tics, tips and tricks that we have available for you. One thing that I find that helps many people save time and navigate through the charts quickly is to use the market watch section and the charts. So you can click on any chart in the market watch, click on it, drag it and drop it over. You see it changes quickly to the next uh, chart. You'll notice that at the bottom I have listed all the different charts that I use. I use all the pairs that are available on the broker that I'm using. The very first and know that I'm going to be just scrolling through that location. The others I alphabetize the market watch section so that I can find them quickly at the bottom if I want to go there. Now why would we want to have uh, the other charts uh, a separate chart all the time? One way is if you wanted to do a, a study and do draw lines, uh, put uh, Fibonacci levels on, uh, then they'll stay there on that particular chart. If you have it on your chart you're scrolling through, then it may get uh, lost and, and uh, misplaced. So that's how I use the market watch and the charts at the bottom. Some people say, how do you get those charts at the bottom? Well, I start right at the very top. I right click and I click chart window and then it goes down and uh, places in the, the bottom of the chart area. If you want them to all be the same, then you go up into the template area, click template, save um, the default, and save it as the default setting. Or so you can type in default, so then anytime you open up a new chart, it'll always have that same setting on that you're looking for. Another feature that I use a great deal is the crosshairs. You can see right here, here's the button on the icon. If I click on that, bring it down, and there's my crosshair that I can uh, do different uh, things with. The way I like to use it most efficiently for me is to use the roller wheel between your left and right mouse button. Use that roller wheel and push it, use it as a button and click down on it. You see that the uh, crosshair forms right there. To get rid of it, you left click the left mouse button. Click the roller wheel again, it comes back. Now, wherever you set that, if you have the crosshairs up, click on it and drag it any place you want to, to drag it, you'll notice that there's a, a group of numbers. The number on the left is the number of time frames you've moved over in the direction that you're, you're looking to, to measure. The second number is the number of pips that you've gone up or down from, uh, from the point you clicked it. In this, this case, it's 21 pips. The, the third number is a tenth. 21.4 tenths uh, of a pip. The third number is the price at that point. So if you wanted to measure how long this trade little move took right here, you can see, well, it took uh, three time frames, which you can count those, but there's 145 pips from top to, from the point that I drew it till the bottom, and that's the price point that it was at. So that's just a handy little tool that I use all the time. And then I don't have to to go up into the top area. Now many people like a setting and they say this is their normal trading setting but what if they want to zoom in to get a little more detail then that's how you can do it. You go up and click the uh, icon that says zoom in or you click the minus uh, little magnifying glass and it says it'll zoom out. So you can see that you can zoom out a long way. Now the way that I like to use it is clicking the plus and the minus key on my keyboard. Now we're zoomed out as far as we can go, so I'm going to click the plus key to zoom back in. And you can see I can go back in, hit the minus key to zoom back out, and this might be the way that I like to always watch the charts in that size, or maybe this is the size that I like to watch. But you can get there very quickly. That is a very good feature if you need to zoom out once in a while. You want to see what's taking place. Uh, further out here in this area. So if you had a line right here, want to see this this little double top area, yes, you can go back, look quickly to see there's some congestion in that area. 
and I'm going to hit the plus key and then you're just seeing the area that you want to to watch right there so that's uh, what I use so I drag from the market watch I use the crosshairs with using the roller wheel as a button and the zoom in and out I use a plus and minus key another feature that I use a lot and people may not use it quite this way but I'm going to put this vertical line right here at this point now I want to see what that looks like on many other uh, currency pairs that's the opening of the US trading session is right here on this bar so I can go to the other currency pairs and click on them and you can see what's happening at that particular point were there any other trades that you could have taken uh, going in that direction you see all kinds of different formations that I was taking place in the market at that time and then of course this is the back to the one that we were actually looking at so that's a way to mark different sections so you can go uh, find them once again so if you like what you see here click on the box at the top right and it'll take you to the next tips and trick video and also subscribe and the videos as we make them and post them will be brought to your attention so that you can look at them at your, your leisure not have to go to our site every time uh, looking to see if we have made a new video or not so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later